Okay guys, so here is a very simple circuit on request of some of you. It is again a soft start circuit, but this time it is for DC loads, like for instance um, heavy duty DC motors or coils or <laughs> lamps or any kind of DC load. Uh, I personally would prefer to uh, use a microcontroller like this for the task, but uh, as usual I want to keep the thing simple, so this is what I came up with. It's actually a very simple circuit, you need just a few uh, components here. Uh, the heart of the circuit is a uh, N-channel MOSFET and uh, we are using this MOSFET in the circuit here as a variable resistor. So, um, yeah, let me quickly go over the circuit and how it works and, uh, and then let's build it. Okay, so you have here your incoming supply. This circuit with uh, this uh, component values is capable of voltages uh, between 10 and 24 volts, DC of course. So here is your battery or um, power supply. Here is the switch of your device as usual. Here is your DC motor or a lamp or whatever load you want to uh, soft start with this circuit. And as I said, here is the heart of the circuit, which is a IRZ44N MOSFET. It's an N channel MOSFET. Here it is. Uh, it's a very commonly used MOSFET. That's the reason why I've chosen this one. MOSFET. <coughs> uh, for uh, inductive loads you need a flyback diode to protect the MOSFET against uh, voltage spikes. So here is a 1N4006 800 volt 1 amp diode. Uh, furthermore you need a capacitor, electrolytic capacitor, for the timing, so how long it will take to start up uh, to uh, the, f the full voltage here depends on the value of this capacitor, or electrolytic capacitor, this one. I have here 470 microfarad, but as I said you have to tinker around with these values. Uh, furthermore, you need a 1.8K resistor. You need a 8.2K resistor, which is the uh, discharge resistor for this uh, electrolytic capacitor. Otherwise, it would stay charged for a very long time. And you need a Cena diode because uh, the maximum gate voltage of this uh, MOSFET here is 20 volts. So if your VCC is below 20 volts, uh, you would not need this Cena diode. But in this case, I designed the circuit to go higher than 20 volts. So that's why I'm adding a Cena diode here to protect the uh, gate of the internal MOSFET from over voltage. And for the sake of it, it's not needed for the circuit. I have here across the motor basically a resistor 2.2K and a LED. As I said, it's not necessary, you don't need it, but 
uh, it's handy to see if um, the motor or your load um, gets uh, powered or not. Okay, what? Let me take this out of the way here. So, what is this circuit doing? You turn your uh, device on and the capacitor charges up via the 1.8 kilo ohm resistor here, which means uh, the voltage at the gate is rising and uh, we are driving the MOSFET basically uh, for a short uh, time period in the linear region which means uh, the MOSFET is getting hot so you you need for the circuit uh, a heatsink which I show you in a minute uh, and therefore the load does not get the full current and after a couple of seconds um, the full uh, VCC is reached here at the gate and uh, or at this, in this case the uh, maximum the 12 volt is reached here at the gate and the MOSFET is fully turned on as I said I have here a protection diode uh, which you need for inductive loads. So the maximum load which the circuit can handle in this configuration with uh, one transistor is about um, 10 amps so a maximum of 240 watts with one transistor on an appropriate heatsink. If you uh, need more than that you could theoretically uh, add a second or a third uh, transistor in parallel to this one to get more juice out of it. And speaking of uh, heatsink, as I said we are using the MOSFET in this circuit as a variable resistor so it uh, uh, gets hot very quickly and I would recommend to use a heatsink minimum this size or even bigger you could use an enclosure like this put your complete circuit board in there and use this to cool the MOSFET cooling very important for this circuit okay so that's all you have to know now I will build the circuit and I will be back in a jiffy. Okay, thanks to the magic of video editing, I am back and here is the circuit. Even though the um, heatsink is a little bit small, so I would prefer to use a bigger heatsink. Here it is. Here are the components, the capacitor, a couple of resistors it's hard to see I know I know it's hard to see here is the Cena diode the flyback diode the LED the MOSFET and that's basically it not much to see so uh, let's hook it up and see how it works and if it works so here's my setup uh, I have a power source, 12 volt lead acid battery. I have here my uh, load, it is a brushed DC motor. Uh, and for better comparison, I have wired in two push buttons. One goes directly from the battery to the motor, and one goes via the soft start to the motor. The motor has some um, weight on it. So it cannot uh, roll away completely. So let's test it. Here is the behavior with the soft start. And here's the behavior without a soft start. Soft start. 
no soft start. So you can definitely see the difference between the two. Uh, as I said, uh, the often you want to soft start uh, a load, the more the transistor is getting warm. I can already feel a little bit of heat coming off of it. So yeah, keep that in mind. You are using the MOSFET as a resistor and it's getting hot. It is vital to mount a heatsink onto the transistor. The bigger the better, of course. Okay guys, so I hope um, this demonstration here and where is it? The circuit um, could help you out a little bit and if you find it somewhat interesting or educational give me a thumbs up or subscribe and yeah that's it so far and thanks for watching.